Welcome to Precise Story. Viewers today, I'm going to talk about the science fiction movie, Last Sunrise. Before this please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for more videos. At the start of the movie, a voice explains the present state of the world. He thinks air conditioning, oxygen, and sunrise to be among the most vital things in the world. However, the planet is now devoid of all of these. Because it is impossible to determine how many days have passed since the sun collapsed. A few years ago, people utilized all of the fossil fuels and everyone switched to solar energy for their basic requirements. The narrator mocks those who used to declare that no matter what occurs, the sun would rise tomorrow because that is no longer true. The sun has totally shut down, leaving the earth without a source of energy. Return to the day it all began. The story is set in a future China where everything is powered nearly entirely by solar energy. Sun Yang, a young guy, is awakened by Ilsa, a future AI robot. Yang examines satellite data from Helios, a multi-million dollar company. Helios is a producer of solar energy which powers three quarters of China. Its CEO, Wang, is at the center of this historical change and is praised for his achievements. Yang examines Helios satellite data and publishes updates on his website. Yang is worried by the disappearance of a neighboring star while he does this test. He says that the sun is affected by the absence of this star. However, the AI robot informs him that such a deduction is not conceivable because it violates the rule of conservation of energy. When Yang leaves his flat, we see that every store on the street is using Helios solar panels. The corporation broadcasted the growth of solar energy in District 4, the last district remaining for Helios to take over. Its logo may be seen everywhere. Yang is awakened the next day by an emergency alarm on his PC. He discovers that the sun's light has reduced by 15% and is rapidly decreasing. Yang is informed by the AI that his guess regarding the star was correct. Yang instantly instructs Ilsa to contact Helios CEO Wang. Yang inquires of Wang if he was aware that the sun will die today, what he would do. Yang replies he will find a way to survive. Wang gives an address and asks him to come there if he wants to survive today. Yang immediately storms inside his next-door neighbor's flat in order to gain a better view of the sunrise. He notices the sun flickering as he stands on the window. Chen Mu, his next-door neighbor, is perplexed as to why he is here and requests him to go. But Yang doesn't even blink as he watches the sunset. Televisions begin to broadcast the unfolding catastrophe, reports of a flickering sun from the opposite side of the earth are heard. Suddenly, the flickering becomes severe and everything becomes black in seconds. Yang returns to his room and Chen Mu follows him, inquiring what is going on. He ignores her and asks Ilsa what would happen next. Ilsa tells him that the temperature will plummet to zero degrees Fahrenheit in a week and minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit in a year. As oxygen depletes, all kinds of life will vanish, and the earth will become a frozen planet. Yang requests Chen Mu to depart the city and then leaves himself. People are perplexed and terrified. The grocery shop is crowded with customers attempting to stock up on groceries, but the cashier is unable to check out due to a power outage. The lights are still on, but they will be turned off in 24 hours. Yang takes a bottle of water and a map to assist them to locate the area Wang mentioned. On his way out, he walks through a dark alley when a mugger knocks him down and injures his leg and grabs his money. When he reopens his eyes, Ilsa informs him that he has slept for 12 hours and 18 minutes. He dashes back to his flat and stuffs his things inside a bag of instant noodles. Chen Mu has arrived at his door with her bag, seeking his assistance in contacting her parents. Yang informs her that he is unable to assist her and requests her to go alone. When she mentions having a vehicle, they decide to go together. Chen Mu makes Yang pledge that he would take her to her parents' home before embarking on the journey. They go for the site, encountering a major traffic jam on the way. Chen Mu gets out of the vehicle to use the restroom, and Yang takes advantage of the chance to drive away but is stopped by a crowd. When she returns, she inquires as to why he is not parked where they had. He lies and says he was doing a U-turn. They ultimately get to Wang's home late at night and meet other people who are also trapped there. Later, his watch's battery dies and Ilsa stops talking to him. Yang is saddened by the loss of the AI robot because it was his only friend. 
Chen Wu senses this and attempts to console him by encouraging them to communicate and connect. When they wake up later, Yang inquires about Wang's plans. Yang feels that because Wang is a millionaire, he will be able to live. Wang, to his dismay, says that the situation is irreversible. He wants to remain in the place till death. According to Wang, a highly evolved civilization from another star is extracting energy from other stars while also extinguishing life in other worlds. This time, they've hit the target of the Earth, and they've been successful. A wormhole has been formed in the center of the solar system, and due to the absence of gravity, all of the planets, including the Earth, will soon fly away from the system. Finally, Wang provides Yang with the coordinates of a District 4 area and advises him to go there if he really wants to live. When Chen Mu wakes up to resume their journey, the temperature has dropped so dramatically that Yang's bottle of water has frozen. Chen Mu sees a space shuttle taking off, and Yang speculates that it may be wealthy people attempting to flee to another planet in order to survive. He takes Chen Mu to her parents' house, as promised, and then continues on his journey to the place that Wang mentioned. However, when he sees Chen Mu has left her plant in her vehicle, he returns to get it. Then, finds a distraught Chen Mu alone in the home. Unlike her normal chatty personality, she doesn't say anything. Yang enters a room and is horrified to find both of her parents dead in their beds. He gets a letter from her father's hand and returns it to Chen Mu. It comes out that they were preparing for Chen Mu's arrival before the son's death. As they wrote the letter, they urged her to look for herself in the city. At that time, a gang of criminals broke into the home and murdered both of them. When Yang informs Chen Mu that he, too, is an orphan and has no idea who his parents are, Chen Mu bursts into tears. He invited her to accompany him to the place Wang had informed him about. They then go on their way. After a time, they arrive at District 3 and are startled because the map guided them in the wrong direction. Their car's battery is dying, so they go a bit farther ahead and find, selling electricity. An elderly couple greets them and claims to have power derived from coal. However, the lady then locks Chen Mu inside the restroom and steals Yang's vehicle keys. They apologize before getting into the vehicle and driving away. Chen Mu and Yang are in trouble. They are near District 4. However, Yang's leg injuries from when the thug attacked him are worsening. He advises Chen Mu to go there by herself, but she insists on going with Yang. They decide to go to District 4 after considerable debate. They stop along the route to eat instant noodles and gaze at the lovely and harsh night sky. It's breathtakingly beautiful even without the light of the sun. When they return to the city, they find their automobile abandoned on the side of the road. But soon a gang of mine workers comes there, hunting for them. Yang gives himself in to rescue Chen Mu. They transport him to their headquarters and employ him as a mine worker to dig coal. Chen Mu, on the other hand, does not give up and rushes to rescue Yang with just a pepper spray. She tries to get him out of there, but Yang is shot in the process. When they are back in the car, Chen Mu drives to District 4 at full speed, hoping to save Yang. They ground to a stop outside a District 4's entrance, and Yang realizes that the area possesses geothermal energy that may rescue them. As they continue on their drive, they see that the windows of the vehicle and the road are beginning to freeze. They don't have much time, but just then, their car's battery dies, and they are stuck with no way out. They remain in the back seat, holding one another's hands. An automated voice from the car says that the two are experiencing their last moments on the earth. After some time, Chen Mu calls Yang's name, but he does not respond. Crying she places her head on his shoulder and falls asleep while freezing. Sometimes later, a vehicle stops near them, and a couple gets out, bringing the unconscious Yang and Chen Mu with them. They transport the two to a safe place in District 4. The end of the voice in the background tells that the earth is speeding towards another galaxy. They will soon arrive at their new home, which includes three sons. So, the viewers, this is all we have today. For more interesting movies, visit my channel.